Wait. Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM that Windows 8.1 can run on. A few months ago I did this video on the same topic except with Windows 10, and we were able to get Windows 10 down to 176 megabytes of RAM before it crashed and would refuse to boot. However, I have said multiple times that Windows 8.1 uses the least amount of RAM out of all of the modern Microsoft operating systems, so today we're going to be testing that theory. The virtual machine that I have set up here is running on a Core i7-10700K with 2GB of RAM installed right now. This is a 64-bit edition of Windows 8.1. With the Windows 10 video, I, I did use a 32-bit version, but for this video I'll be using 64-bit as this is what I had downloaded, and I feel like we can't let Windows 8.1 win too much. The VM client I will be using for this entire test is VMware Workstation 15.5 Pro. So the first thing we have to do is just shut down the Windows 8.1 VM and let's cut the virtual machine's RAM in half. So we're going to be taking it from simply 2 gigs down to 1 gig. Actually I think we can do better than that. Let's just jump all the way down to 900. 900 megabytes of memory. Let's see if Windows 8.1 is able to boot. I don't think it's going to boot very fast but it should be able to boot on 900 megabytes of RAM. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. The resolution is definitely, there we go. I was gonna say the resolution is a little bit weird, but it finally adjusted. And again, I'm proving my point. It's running great. I mean, would I use this? Definitely not. Um, I'd imagine once we start actually using the operating system, it would be not that usable. But here we are, 900 megabytes of RAM. It's running like it was with two gigabytes of RAM very responsive, very, very fluid. Now I do believe that this is heavily running off the processor right now as it is an 8 core 10700K, but just with the RAM amount, this is really cool. I mean, we let's just open the task manager performance. Yeah, we are currently using 800 out of 900 megabytes of RAM. So we're using 87%. That's a lot of RAM just to be idling at. So, so let's jump down to 800 megabytes of RAM. The startup animation with the little bubbles at the bottom does seem a little bit slower than it did before, but we just bypassed it and we are simply loading in right now. And we are in Windows 8.1. That definitely took a little bit longer to load. So we're actually using less RAM. We're using 75% versus 87%. So we have 800 megabytes of RAM, blah, 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 blah. This is actually looking pretty good for us right now. The 800 megabytes of RAM thing is definitely... It's definitely taken a toll on the operating system here. I mean, just opening, let's just try to go to YouTube. I would say YouTube is a pretty intensive website with its modern HTML elements. We are, we are just about 15 megabytes away from 800. Let's just play, I don't know, let's just play a random video here. I'm not sure what to play. Eh, we're idling at around 730 megabytes, which isn't, that's not too bad. Um, better than I would have expected to idle at. Instead of jumping down 100 megabytes, let's just jump down 200 megabytes to 600 megabytes. The lowest that I've seen this operating system run prior to this video is 512 megabytes. So seeing how it'll run on less than that is going to be interesting. We are in the operating system. Um, even at 600 megabytes, Windows 8.1 is much more fluent than Windows 10 was, which yet again proves my point at how Windows 8.1 manages way better than Windows 10 in almost every way. Next is the iconic half a gig, 512 megabytes. So this is just your standard half a gig. I have no doubts that this is gonna be able to start and work at least somewhat good. Um, if you watched my other video, you'll know that Windows 10 did have some icon loading problems on the taskbar, as you know, they would start off as little white pages and then they'd slowly load in. We haven't had that problem yet. I mean, all of our animations are smooth. All of our animations are fast. This is kind of insane. So yet again, task manager, we are 512 megabytes of RAM, 95% idling, um, not the most ideal idle. Um, I bet if we would open two Google Chrome tabs, we wouldn't exactly have the ideal situation, but you know, it's, it's whatever. We're, we're going to get there. We're working on it. From here, this is where we're going to start getting into weird numbers of memory. So now we're going to jump to 345. Okay, sorry. We're going to jump to 340 just to see. Um, I don't, I don't want to go all the way down to 300, but I don't want to go to you know 400 because that would be kind of too close. So just jumping to 340, we can see this animation down here is going very slow. Um, but 
we are still loading into the operating system. Here we are again, just as a reminder, 340 megabytes of RAM. Um, it's definitely slowing down. This operating system is definitely getting more unresponsive. Um, it's taking a long time just to open up the task manager here, but it opened. Um, it's functional. So booting up on 212 megabytes of RAM. Windows 8.1, I have faith that this is going to boot. Um, it's actually booting very fast um, compared to what Windows 10 did. You know, it's loading straight into the desktop just like that. Icons on the taskbar loaded very well. I'm shocked that we have gotten this far. I clicked on the start button. We're still waiting. There we go, right there. It loaded. We can try 200 megabytes of RAM. If this doesn't work, then we'll know that probably around 212 is our limit. But if this boots on 200 megabytes and we do not get a blue screen, then we can keep incrementing down. I'm going to start taking screenshots of Task Manager at this point, just in case we can't get past 200 megabytes. But yeah, all right, it's looking like 200 megabytes is indeed the limit, roughly around that point. Um, I'm going to bump this up to, let's see, let's put it back at, let's put it back at 212 and see if the system can boot at 212. We're going to go down in increments um, to see what is the exact number of megabytes Windows 10, or Windows 8.1 requires to boot. Okay, so here we are. We are booted in 212 megabytes. Um, let's go down to, I believe, 208 is the next one that we can go down to. Okay, we have started Windows 8.1, 208 megabytes. I'm going to see if I can get the task manager to load. Um, I might have to start changing, you know, stopping the recording and going down in increments until I can find one that works because this recording as I look at it right now is already getting pretty long, but we're loading task manager right now. I mean, albeit it's taking ridiculously long just to load task manager, which is apparently a very resource intensive program. Performance, 208 megabytes of RAM. Um, we're not, it's not the most ideal thing in the world, but it's booted, it's here. All right, next up is 204 megabytes of RAM. After that, we can try to go back down to 200 just to kind of see if the incremental thing helps, but I honestly don't think it will. We went down in increments. I feel like 200 is the lead, like the limit. So if this boots on 204 megabytes of RAM, then 204 is the minimum, but if it doesn't, then 208 is the minimum. So again, down to 204, we are going to boot this Windows 8.1 VM. And look at that. Okay, so just for resolution's sake, I'm gonna keep the video like this with the Windows 10 taskbar and the virtual machine, just so we can kind of use a little bit less resources um, at a lower resolution. But Windows 8.1 is currently on 204 megabytes of RAM. I'm sure if I used a 32-bit version, um, we would be able to boot at lower than Windows 10, but as I said, I didn't have one downloaded, um, and I didn't really necessarily feel like downloading one. So, all right, changing this to 200 megabytes, moving it down by four megabytes, we're gonna see if this boots, and if this does boot, then that means that we can increment down even more. But honestly, based on what I've seen, I, don't, I really don't think this is gonna boot. Um, I should be expecting a blue screen right there. So yes, 204 megabytes is the absolute limit that Windows 8.1 64-bit can boot on. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck in this blue screen loop until we see that there's not enough memory to create a RAM disk device. So, 204 megabytes is the absolute limit. In fact, let's just try safe mode. I don't think this is going to work, but what if, if we can get this to boot in safe mode, then we will have something at least but no, we can't. So with that being said, don't use Windows 8.1 on less than 204 megabytes of RAM as it will simply not work. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. And I will see you all in the next one.